Thank you, Ryan. Well, last month, we showed you the deplorable conditions at a Tampa trailer park. Uh, after our story first aired, the city of Tampa declared half the trailers at Green Park residences unfit for human habitation. But our Allison Morrow joins us now with why some of the residents say the city's eviction only made their lives worse. Allison? Right, Brendan. Well, that's because the city has promised up to $1,500 to help them find new homes. But so far, several of these residents say they've yet to see that money, and the city's only real offer so far is a homeless shelter. Mm. Holes in the uh, roof. This is the third time. When you sit in it. We've shown the inside. That's the one, termites. Of Lakeisha Ellison's condemned Tampa trailer. Move. Turns. And soon after, Ellison showed us her broken shower and the holes in her walls. The city served her landlord an inspection warrant, the first time in code enforcement history. And yet six days after their eviction deadline, Ellison's four kids still do their homework inside it. Alligator. No. Why Mouse. You? Mouse. She says she has no choice. It's here or homeless, like her neighbor. It kept me safe. It kept me from being raped. It kept me from being robbed. Rhonda Daniels obeyed the order to vacate. Her mattress now propped up against her empty trailer. She's lived on the streets ever since, riding public buses, using public bathrooms, even though the city promised to help. They even sent us this statement. The city's goal in situations like this is to make sure that every resident has a safe place to live. We will not evict anyone until they have found temporary housing. They promised up to $1,500 in relocation money but both women say all they've seen are excuses. This is deplorable. This is outrageous that people follow the rules and they're out on the street. Daniels doesn't have the paperwork to prove her married name change. And Ellison says the city told her it would take at least 10 more days. My kids is here and I have to look in their face, you know, and this place is not livable. Like, I never thought in my, in my life I would go through something like this. Now, Daniels told us she wishes she never followed the rules and moved out. She obeyed instructions, left the keys inside, and locked the trailer door. Now she can't get back in.